Hey guys, my name is Kristen and I'm coming to you from New Jersey and um, unfortunately I can't actually hold up any of these books that I'm going to be talking about because my district went to virtual learning um, as of Friday. So all of my books are actually stuck in our school, but I do want to quickly talk about them, um, starting with the youngest book and that's our the pre-K book and that's Goodnight Moon by Margaret Wise Brown and that was one of my favorite books growing up. I've read it to kids that my friends have had, I've read it to um, family members, and it's just that repetitive sensory language and the connection to the world around us that um, makes it one of my favorite books. Um, and then one of our sixth grade books that we use in our school, which is Fish in a Tree by um, Linda Malay Hunt. And that's about a girl, Allie Nickerson, who has a connection with her teacher, um, who forms a connection with her teacher who has a, a learning disability um, and comes to actually find out after forming this connection with her teacher that she is dyslexic and all these struggles that she had in school were because of her dyslexia. And this teacher really helps her push through everything and forms this friendship and he works through all of these struggles with her and she then starts to strive in school and become successful. And then one of the other, the last book that I actually want to talk about is an eighth grade book that we use in our school and it's called The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros and it's written, I think that's actually how you say your name, I'm not positive, um, but it's written in the form of vignettes. And we have our eighth graders, um, which are short snippets. Um, and then we have our eighth graders write their own vignettes and small moments in their life. And our eighth graders have really gravita gravitated toward this assignment and love it. And they then go on and actually write this way a lot and have come back to tell us that they start journaling on their own and it helps them throughout their eighth grade year. Um, and they just really take to the assignment. So that's kind of why I like that book a lot. But yeah, so I, if you're looking for a book to read, I recommend any of those. And I hope everybody is hanging in there and staying healthy. Thank you.